night, I think. 2v2 mid only. We've got um, Elsa the Queen up against Phaedrus. Um, and on the diet, uh, sorry, Elsa the Queen and Phaedrus up against Mordic Fire and Proton. Um, Phaedrus, of course, being the, uh, the the captain who infamously picked PL and anti in the same game and made it work. I mean, ah, I was just chatting to him. Like, I was having a go at him at the start for the picks, but then he won. So I was totally wrong. It was just a mad game. It was such a mad game. I put it this way, I think that should be like, you know, what happened in that game stays in that game. We're not allowed to talk about it. It didn't it it was just wow. Much wow. All amazing. And good job to everyone involved. Um I'm not sure where my co caster is. Uh give me one moment. I'm here. I'm here. Oh you're there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I was having a I, uh, I really don't want to remember that game. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've had a lot of depressing games in my life, but I have to say, I probably walked out of that game more sad and hurt than any other Dota game that I've ever. Did you see? Um, I've actually got this saved as an image now. Um, did you see the gold graph at one point when I looked into it? It was something like 34 minutes uh, on the game clock. The gold graph was like a sine wave. It was ridiculous. It was just up and down by like 5k peaks each way, steadily, that up to that 34 minute point. Madness. That game took me to pieces, and, I, and, and <laughs> it took me to pieces. The prop. There was a, a couple key miscommunications in that game. Very key mis And the, the keyest of the miscommunications was that we went for this thing where we had to finish off one Rax, and so we thought, we, we, we had some Boots of Troubles, and we said, we'll go in, we'll finish off the Rax, we'll get out. And the key miscommunication was that Luna apparently had bought back. And we didn't know this, we, we didn't understand this. And so I had Boots of Troubles, and Luna had Boots of Troubles, and, and so we were discussing whether we should do this, and we are like, we have two Boots of Troubles. Uh, we said, let's both go in, let's do it. But we did not know in our discussion of this that Luna had bought back, and that we'll be unable to buy back were she to die. Ah. And so she did go in, and she did die, and was then unable to buy back, which again, we were not aware was going to be a result of this. And... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it... What I loved about that game was that it was the kind of game that came down to decisions like that, though. I mean, it, it was... It's almost time for everybody Right up to the wire. We deserve to win those decisions, and we didn't. <laughs> I'm still really mad about it. Also, Fade just, in a, in a nice enough way, was giving me shit earlier, before the game, and I really <laughs> wanted to beat him, and I didn't. <laughs> that, that, that is often what hurts. And I felt like I out... I, I don't know, it was a game where I felt like I out-captained, and we outplayed, and we still lost. Which, it just hurt. It hurt a lot. Yeah, hurt a lot. You're still smarting. Well, I mean, full props to the guy, for, for one of what I think yeah, was no, his well, first drafts. Cool. Massive, massive. Blocks. No, he's second. I had beat him earlier. No, I had beat him earlier. <laughs> Not keeping score here, are we? Sure. Uh, interesting hero picks here, by the way. We should probably talk on this game a little bit, at least. Um, I don't. I think I'm gonna chalk this these hero picks up to the fact that. I'm assuming that Phaedrus has not played a lot of mid only. Though. Regeneration. Yeah, I, I was only eyeing up the over the scouting team as well. I mean, I. Oh, and Lua has asked us to, um, to point out that he was not planning on dying in the <laughs> Rax Rush of 2014. Uh, I did not say I did not mean to say that we we plan on him dying, but merely that we we knew that was a contingency. And again, not trying to blame Lua. I I totally what, what you're Lua basically saying is it's all Lua's team. fault, and <laughs> God damn it. Bra ra ra ra. Something wrong with <laughs> Lua Luna GG. But uh, this didn't Lua. work out. <laughs> I, you remember when I typed that shake your moneymaker at Budge last time? The, the reason I did that in particular is I did that to K before and he missed it. And he was really upset afterwards. He was like, no! I didn't see that, that, that request to taunt at the time. And apparently he missed it again this time. <laughs> And I just got another really upset message going, No! I want to shake my money maker on camera. He's a, he's a little bit like Miley Cyrus, I guess. Oh, Phaedra's looking very, very low. Looks like he's not going to get the chance to get his ult before he dies. Mid only Dota is way easier to cast. It's not like you can miss it. It's very true. Um, well, 
I mean, let's see him start contesting some rooms. That that would be fun. That's fair. I mean, I I think the key to mid only Dota and especially in two v two, and they haven't done it, and it's kind of sad. Just I mean, it'll make for a more interesting cast, I guess. But it's kind of sad. You you have a jungler, and then you have someone who can play a bit defensive in the mid, and you win. So I'm kind of surprised we're not seeing. I think that. the key. I think the key is Keeper of the Light, in my opinion. <laughs> Just for... Keeper of the Light, too strong, in mid only, Dota. Can't get anywhere near. I'm sure there are ways to get around. Can't get anywhere near her, sure. and mana battery for everybody. Free mana for everyone. Oh, the hook and the miss. The hook and the miss. My grandmother's better hooker than that. Light Striker rated, hits, though. Well, the, they want follow-up, but unfortunately... SK. So I personally am not a fan at all of the new Lena model. I think it looks really weird. And Lena is supposed to be Crystal Maiden's like sister, and now they look just totally different. I like the animations for the abilities and everything, but this new Lena model makes it look like some sort of weird demon thing, which is not what the, what Lena is supposed to be. Uh, I'm, not well, gonna, I'm gonna throw that out there now. I I I I, I haven't stalkerishly obsessed over the Lena, Lena models before, that's just me. I'm obviously in a minority among those players, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, okay. But I do want to point out, this Lena does have the Fiery Soul of the Slayer Arcana item. So, this is a very particular... I don't know whether that actually affects the model. But, certainly that hair. Fair enough. Certainly one of the, I mean, the first Arcana item they ever bought out, and uh, I love what it does to the hair. I love the idea of the hair being in fire. Um, I, I almost think there should be an equivalent item for Crystal Maiden, where the Arcana forms yeah, that match up a little right, bit. Yes. But I agree with you, not, not enough emphasis on the fluff and the fact that they're sisters. Yeah, which is like one of the few sort of lore points that everyone can get in on in Dota. Everyone can sort of have a good time with. Yeah, and have a little rivalry or, or teamwork or whatever. I mean, yeah, I, it, it works. It works. When I was starting out, when you know people don't. A very good combo. They are. I, I was just about to say that when I was starting out, when people that I actually tell people to do when they're first starting in Dota and they're trying to figure out who you know who do I combo with what I agree with is that the lore is actually very useful in this and sometimes in this issue as Pudge ignores the haste room. I guess it spawned right as he walked away. Um, but uh. Uh, is that if you look at the lore, there's sort of good combos that they often suggest. Like, the Warlock, Disruptor, and Axe combos are suggested in the lore. Like really? I did not know that. Lores, and especially for a new hero. I yeah. did not know that. Warlock, I mean... Disruptor, and Axe are all for the same tribe. Interesting. Warlord, Dis... Oh, sorry, Warlock, Disruptor, and Axe. Interesting. And this is why... Warlock, I mean, Axe kind of went Axe solo in the lore after a while, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But they're all from the Oglodai people. Interesting. Interesting. I, I, I can see it actually now that I think about it. The face. They've both got like human ish but yeah, flatter. They actually do look like, yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Yep, yep. Sort of. Radiant but, getting a nice ward up there. Even sort of, yeah, getting... But. That is a good ward. I, I mean, the Dyer are the ones who need the wards. I mean, they've got the Pudge. They're the ones who need to be setting up and landing hopes. Um, the, it's just, just really my one favorite bit of, uh, of Dota trivia. Absolute favorite. Have you read the description for Troll? Troll Warlord. Uh, I'm sure I have. It's the most thinly veiled metaphor for internet trolls in the entire world. Oh, is it? I, it I'm gonna go look it up right now. It, um, it's just kind of like matriarchal society where young males frequently live in the okay. basements of their mother's caves oh, kind yeah. of thing. And then oh, frequently yeah. obnoxious. Oh, it's, it's so fun. I love it. And out that uh, Warlock Disruptor and uh, Axe? All also have the same voice actor. Interesting. Wow, you you've got good people on the sidelines for like informing. I know when I game start stats. casting, Lou's gonna be my Lou's gonna be my stats man. Mm. Good stats man. I've got LTI. He um. Who's the who's the who's the stats man for uh, Dota Cinema? I'm sure Lua will be able to tell me. But he's a good stats for man. Dota he's Cinema. A great stats man. Anyway, let's do it. Looks like Dyer. Had... Oh oh. Rune going down. Question chances? Mark? No chances. No. Nope. No bottle on Dyer. No, let's have a look at these items. On... No bottle. Yeah. Bottles, bottles. What's Luna building into? Luna, the, Luna gets to, needs to get some farm. Bottles too new. For some reason, I've still got. I've still got three v three heroes popping up in my uh, item list. Kind of weird. 
it's showing me the correct heroes for two of them, but then I've also got uh, Elsa and Mortifier as Keeper of the Light and, and Razor. So that's interesting. No, no, I'm not getting that. Hmm. Weird. Let's have a look at some stats here. Last six denies. Dire gonna, miles if ahead. You're gonna TV Oh yeah, Dyer's. I don't. I don't. We have. I've been sort of chilling about the game, but Dyer is <laughs> just destroying this game. Just destroying it. Not. It's not even close. The sniper pick up again. In a two v two. I'm. I'm not sure what's. Yeah, Lewis says it starts with an end, but I can't remember either. But yeah, it does start with an end, right? You're. You're right, Lewis. Um. Got a last hit there. Skeleton King. Big day. Yeah. Right. Right. King. And then. Lena's okay, but they just totally got outpicked. They unfortunately did, yeah. And and the the thing was, I mean, the, the dire picks them. came out came out That's really true. early. Yeah, they're gonna be carry them, I guess. But just two v two mid only, maybe. You you think? You think Lena SK oh, out carries? What, what? First of all, what's Pudge gonna do? Well, maybe Pudge is gonna get a whole load of kills early game. And level up flesh heap, and then just become the ultimate tank. I see, I see. Um, I'm not as certain. Oh, great thing should fall here. I mean, that's that will be the plan. I mean, Lena. I don't know. All skills scale off late game. The the later the game, the more they yeah, scale up. Even Laguna Blade is going to become less useful. Skywrath Mage and Vengeful lore connections. Slark yes. and Naga lore connections. The other big one would be um, the Storm Brothers. Uh, sorry, the Spirit Viper. Brothers, obviously. Spirit Brothers and and Pugna and Viper are also well, uh, heavily connected in the lore. Yes, um, I heard and, Viper uh, was originally meant for. There's hints Viper. that Viper is was Pugna's pet at some point. I heard. Right. Dia finally getting a ward up and taking advantage of it. Unfortunately, Radiant having wards up aren't going to fall for that. I want to say. Phaedrus with ult now. I think that might be since he last died, I'm gonna say. Illusion rune top. You know what they should do, by the way? Both sides have vision. On the subject of Lena models. Yeah. They should change the Lena. Well, does, does that Dire Ward give rune vision? That deep in? I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. Well, they're in about the same. How do you change vision? Or. Uh, click on the little eye, top right, and then. Oh, it's not opening. That's weird. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not possible. Oh, just got some. I'll it out later. If you can stun Sniper, I can ult him. Yeah, says. <laughs> Unfortunately. Death over. Didn't quite work out his plan. No. I was typing asshole. Low. Much low. All the while. Um. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> It just is going to be so hard. Laguna Blade is going to be massive on on Sniper. Yeah. It just. It, but it's going to do basically nothing to Pudge. Not, they're going to be out carry them, but it's it, it's going to be too late. Am I? I'm going to guess. Well, although I don't, I'm not. Fire, I don't see this Lena being massive so. carry thing. I, I really don't. I mean, she can build up damage, and she's got a passive that increases her damage. She can be massive carry. And that's great. She can be a carry. Especially against Pudge, because I'm just throwing this out there, Pudge has inbuilt magic resistance. So if that Pudge also builds a hood, she won't be able to touch him yeah. until she gets to the stage where she can do ridiculous right click damage, which will require a whole load of feed, and it will require level 16, and it will require... Spectre and Puck, Lou is still out here talking about lore. I'm telling you man, he's a stats man, he's what he's doing. This is good. I, I feel kind of bad, because LTI loves his, his fluff, his... Uh, you know, his, his background stories, but I never let him go into it on the cast, but it's actually really interesting. It's actually it something very interesting. It, it, it was interesting to point out the ways that they connect, the way that Laura actually connects to gameplay. Hmm. Like the, uh, the war, like Warlock Disruptor and Axe is an amazingly good trial lane together. Lena and Crystal Maiden are really good support combos together. Uh, Pugna and Viper are, can be very, very good together. I can a see Pugna and Viper. The lures are good sort of pointers for what what Valve thinks are combos worth looking at. And heroes that hate each other tend to be um, one tends to sort of counter each other, or, or what they need to work well. They tend to work. Oh, well Mordic here, lining, lining up for a and, lining oh, up for an ult on oh, on Wraith King who has his ult. Then there's the hook though. The hook. 
straight into the dismember. That was beautifully set up. Mordic needs to be there for the DPS, though. Yeah. Not enough. Seven more seconds. Seven more seconds. Impossible. Dyer definitely deserves style points for that. I think that was very planned. But, uh. Style points. You know, style points. Style points. Get a nice kill, then just have the fudge in, come into hook up, and try to. Style points in Dota. I'm not. I'll, I'll accept some valor points. I'm a Kunkka player. There's always points. style points. If, if you don't have style oh, points as a Kunkka player, then you, you don't get much. Also needs to get these last hits. I'm not sure what she's doing. She's probably... I want to say typing? Yep, there we go. There you go. Uh, yep. Oh no! Typing the hook. That's the secret. Whatever here you think is typing something, just hook him. Oh my yep. shit. And Lua points out uh, um, Sl Lua points out that Slark and Naga are good together because Slark makes space for the Naga carry to do her thing. Oh, oh. Proton here. He also wants to let me know when I'm, when I'm going to let him uh, play the Naga carry. Yeah, he should be able to get this. I don't think Phaedrus knows he's there. Well, the Maybe team he experimentation. Yeah, he does. He does. He I'd knows. love to see some Naga carries in he's some of the games we play. I don't think I've ever played much before or against one. Oh, but he's coming back over. Ooh. Ooh, I think he was trying Ooh, to lure, lure Phaedrus there towards where the Pudge is waiting with that DD rune popped. Yeah. And the DD rune has now been popped. For a second. All right, Phaedrus, knowing enough to lean, Got I believe is the technical yeah. term for what he's doing here. He is lane leaning. Range on Pudge hook though is huge. 1,300. Uh, it's not enough to reach him. He's gonna have to come at least to the middle bricks. Really. He's, he's he's been in range cross. at various times. He's gonna have to cr he, was he, he was in range once. He's gonna have to come to at least. Well, you can't see my pings on the map when it's. I can, but, I can. I'll oh, not on the map. I can oh, see it on the mini map. Yeah, I, I, you can see the map. But I think you. This is, you can draw, can't you? You have to cross oh. this line right there. I never remember the button going. What's up? You have to control, control. Not Sorry. for me. Oh, right well. here. But yeah, I can see your lines on the mini map again. Oh yeah. Ah oh, well, maybe I've got some settings in the wrong place. Not sure what this pool is about. One sec. Oh, uh, Lewis says that the courier was going to high ground, and that's why they he, they knew that Pudge was there. Ah, well, I'm not sure what Lena's plan is. Smoke on courier. He's got to get the. Uh... She doesn't know he's there. <laughs> oh dear. What's your plan? Oh, hold on him. There's going to be a hook. <laughs> Can, can there be an SK stun? stun? He can. Yep. The stun is real. Sniper's oh, just going to sit there and feast though during this. Initiating with assassinate, which is exactly what he wants to do. Elsa wants to go in and finish him off. You know what might have changed the course of that fight right there? Do you know what could have changed it? Ooh, a stun. Um, some uh, some some ruptures, some dismembers. They're not ruptures. Some dismembers, possible. Shrapnel. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Slow down the chase. Get some counter le 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 coming in from the, uh, from the radio. Yep, yep, that's the counter le. Yep. Counter le. Pro strat. Like that poorly spelled thing. <laughs> oh, and the shrapnel! The shrapnel is happening. Real. So now you've got a bit of chance to get some harass on. Right, now. If only the. I'm telling you, man, if you're doing two on two, keeper and sniper, those are the, those are the key heroes. Mm. I'm trying to think what, I mean, mid mid only. <laughs> you, you brought this up last game. Oh, nice hook there on oh, Phaedrus. They're going to have to try and, I was going to say they should try and finish him without dismember, but actually not enough mana there for result. Oh, I don't believe it was still on cooldown. Cool oh no, still on cooldown. Still on cooldown. No, no, he used his ult. I'm sorry, he, yeah, he did use his ult. Pudge, Pudge did dismember. He did, no, sorry, I was saying Pudge shouldn't have dismembered until after the SK ult. But, um... Oh, oh. But yeah, oh, I mean the SKL not SKL wasn't, was still on wasn't in. Yeah. It was still on cooldown. I had another 40 seconds. I had a minute at the time. Though. Anyway, um, nice items coming out. I think a uh, sniper here has, has started off with your shadow amulet. So, uh, my I've got a new friend that I'm trying to encourage um, to play Dota, and uh, doing it. Uh, um, but uh, do it. The shrapnel's come up on the tower. Because I was talking with. It's, it's happening. Keeper and uh, sniper, man. Play him right. Mid only. Unbeatable. Unbeatable. 
Lua just uh, said, uh, he said, Shrapnel gets picked up at level 22 to 25 in most pub players 98% uh, of the time. It's oh, the nice up there on Luna, on Vina. Yeah. Names. <laughs> Sorry, yes. But anyway, I was telling my I was telling my friend who's just who's just starting to play just how different Dota is. I mean, do you remember when you first started playing Dota and you had absolutely no idea? Well, did you play any like MOBA MOBAs or anything before Dota, or was it your first one? It was my first one. So this was did... lots of Warcraft three, and I may even have tried the original uh -huh. mod once when I was trying Warcraft three mods, but never as like a, oh I'm interested in MOBAs until suddenly Dota two came into my life. Do you uh? Do you remember how bad you were when you first started playing? Um, yeah, my first 80 pub games were like, yeah, at least probably 80 90 percent Broodmother. <laughs> I, oh, really? Yeah, I, I started Broodmother, I loved Broodmother, and... Oh, we're gonna see the exact same fight go down here. Oh, I Shrapnel in totally the wrong place. Earlier. Oh no, totally the right place, sorry, I, I was getting yeah, the teams wrong. Are they gonna still go for it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Phaedra should have his ult up again, yes he does. But they don't wanna blow it now. Mm, I mean, they need just... I think they need a longer stun on the sniper, or, or just more nuke. Um... Because, you know, the last two uh, Laguna Blades have gone down on Pudge, and they haven't managed to get the kill. And if they've got the kill, great, but the Laguna Blade on Sniper is half tail. Ping! Gone. Yeah, the, um, the, uh, uh, for me it was Lion. I had about 60 games on Lion at the start. I just played <laughs> Lion pretty much all the time. My thinking on it was... Played all pick and played Lion. Metamorphosis was the guy who got me into it, and my thinking on it was... Well, he got me into it by saying, you know, you, you like Warcraft 3, you like strategy games, this yeah, has elements you, of that. And my immediate response Rune was, well, which hero, hero for you then. which hero is most, you know, involved a bit like a strategy game? Yeah. He said Broodmother, and I did, and I loved it. Yeah, that's, that's a good choice, yeah. yeah and I can't so. wait for her to be put into Captain's yeah. mode. I, I don't know if she's going to be in anything like the current incarnation. I don't think they feel so bad, they've got though. it right. She's so bad, except for this stupid run off the map thing. Other than that, she's just not a good hero. Well, you, mm, mm, in yeah. my opinion, mm. but I'm not the broodmother lover, so I wouldn't know. Apart from anything else, no, no, there's no experimentation done with broodmother. I think she's very flexible, especially now. But you know, not in captain's mode. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really interested. Nobody really experiments. Um, I mean, she's another typical AWP carrier, which you know, great team utility item. Even if you think of it as put your heavy carry somewhere else and have her as a supporty person and she can build lads, she can build orchid. But when I play brood, and admittedly I can only do it in pubs, because, you know, not in captains. I was so bad though. Like I and most people like had a friend like my brother introduced him to and he helped me out some but he wasn't that into Dota. Oh and didn't really and he, he was sort of definitely sort of encouraged us to let me play. So I would like buy like demon edges and stuff online because I didn't know any better. I hmm. would just like go to the nearest shop and like alright what's the most expensive item I can afford? Yes, that's and that's the key question. Gives, a lot of the time. Gives what damage. can I afford? Damage is good. Damage sounds good. You can you can only go so wrong with damage. Alright, I guess I'll get uh I guess I'll get a demon edge. Hmm. But what, one of the things so that's, that suited me and I think is a great idea for new players um, is it, it sounds shitty but research just like I don't mean to make it sound boring, if anybody makes it, feels that that makes it sound boring. Oh! He almost got the cast animation off for the stun that would have finished Pudge. Animation. Oh, but oh, Pudge the gets hook. the hook! Oh, but, he come back and hook. but he's brought back! Stun him, stun him. There we go, there's the kill. Dominating. Mordic though, managing to finish off the, uh, the Lena. Phaedrus! Yeah, I, I Turn around now, bro. Oh, get the haste room, yes! If he can rush up and stun him outside of tower range, but no, he did you see what happened, by the way, with Wraith King? Nah. You mean with the hook, and then he reincarnated at the no, he, point he'd yeah, been hooked? He reincarnated where he was hooked from, not from where he died. I guess he di actually died at the start of the hook. There must have been enough damage to kill him. Yes, I, I, I think that would definitely be the case. Um, I mean, if you want to get really technical in terms of like what is technically happening, oh, Mo Phaedra's here. Oh, but he misses the hook! Once it, I was wondering whether oh, Rot would actually finish off Sniper. That would have been hilarious. 
Um, but yeah, I, I think that was a, a fair attempt by him. With the TP coming in, he was going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that was very close to working. If that second hit had been a crit, of course, WK having one of the worst crit chances in the game, I think. 15%. Uh, so Statsman says, uh, Demon Edge is the third most effective damage for gold item behind what two items? That's that's our Dota trivia for the for the first second. Base items the third or most effective, the third most effective damage for gold item behind two items. In in the whole game, out of all the items, we're not talking items? we're not talking base yeah. items. Uh, that should Are we be talking it. raw base damage. Raw base damage per per gold. Per gold. Well, divine rapier is one. Okay, now it's the second. And the other one, I I'll, I want to say sacred relic, but let me just check. No, 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 you can't check. It's just a, this is a. This no, I'm not, I'm not checking, checking. I'm just looking at the shop to remind myself of the oh, stats. Okay. Yes, it's uh, sacred okay, relic. Okay, sacred relic and divine rape. You that wanted would to say. Be incorrect. Ah, I, had, I just realized I did the maths wrong way. Go on, tell me. The other me. one is the blades of attack. I was. Yeah, it should have gone down, not up. Yes, of course. Lower cost items, more efficiency. Silly, silly. The other one's divine rapier, right? I'm actually surprised that Demon Edge has such a has such, so it's uh, more gold efficient than Broadsword and Claymore and oh yeah Jabber. Oh, yeah. Um, almost always. Oh, oh nice hook there, hook. and that's the kill. Great hook. And they're gonna go on. Uh, they're gonna go on Lena. Yep, she's down. She's dead. Double. Moved, I want to say the wrong way. They should just call it, though. Down into lane. This is getting out of hand. The moral of the story, kids, by the way, is Wraith King, not great in mid only. The other moral of the story is if Sniper had leveled Shrapnel first, then this game would already be over. Will I get my taunt? Does Proton have Yeah. Oh, there it is. Middle tower he actually doesn't have it equipped, but he can do a, a little rot shuffle. Middle tower has fallen. All right, Lou, we, we want some more Dota trivia. What happened? Make it rain. Don't tell me the answer this time, Lou. I'll, I'll, I'll participate too. <laughs> I feel like I'm being. I feel uh, like I'm back to school. Technically, by the way, that f technically phase boots have a higher base damage than per gold than blades of attack. Phase boots. He, 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 what he meant to say. No, they don't. Oh, they have equal. They have equal. Equal damage per gold, I think. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I don't know. 24 damage for... But of course, I mean, phase boots you also, you've got movement speed, you've got the active ability. Um, yeah. Archie looking for a hook. Probably must go for Lina. And a Necro Creep coming out. I haven't been keeping an eye on the items. Who's got the Necro Creep? It's Proton on the Pudge. Interesting choice. Keep you reckon... Phase boots are, um... Necro on Pudge? Necro on Pudge. I'm wondering if he's just using it to scout out, um... Hooks. Yeah, he's using, he'll use them to scout. Yeah, mm. that's a good decision. Very but, good uh, decision. But uh, he means that that phase boots are more efficient per per gold than than demon edge. Oh, than demon edge. I see. Not, not blades of attack directly. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the trivia. That, that was very. What? Yep. What's next? Keep it I going, suppose. Uh, uh, these are like little pop-up questions ahead. I, I win items, right? If I get it right. I'm guessing from, from Lua. Uh, you win... Lua, I suppose, well, would have to pay for my items. Items are... I mean, it depends on how you define items, you know what I mean? <laughs> Stick? You win the item of, like, self-esteem? Believe yeah. in yourself? That's pretty good. Yeah, major item. Much oh no, the hook! Again on Phaedrus. He does have his ult. Podge now moving into position to try and creep up the worst of the retreat. Of course, a mini stun on Sniper, I think, doing most of the work. Hook now off cooldown. There it is. Oh, but the other hook. Yeah. It would have been tricky. The chance Phaedrus had there would have been to dodge that hook, but it was very close range. It would have been tricky. Where's the 
Mordic saying no, but not really his call. Um, I think well played from both teams. Um, just like I did in the last match, I think maybe Radiant didn't quite appreciate the way to think of heroes that are good in these kind of special situations. I mean, I did terribly at that in the last match. Coddle sniper, man. But yeah, that sniper pick, I think, was, was hugely in favor of Dyer. SK, I think, could have been better for Radiant. You want you don't necessarily need range, but you need someone with a decent capacity for range, like a Kunker or an Ember Spirit or a Pudge. Um, could have been fine, but yeah, right thing was just... I think Phaedrus just hasn't played a lot of mid only Dota. It's not his fault. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> I don't remember the last time I played Madonna, but yeah, GG's all round. Um, probably last cast of the day. And about you, David, e, whether you're hanging around. I'm, I'm probably done. But yeah, GG's to everyone involved.